Hi everybody and welcome back to As the Rooster Crows. Today we are going to make some sourdough starter. Joe and I had made some sourdough starter a couple of years ago and it was really good and we've been baking a lot of bread and we've discovered that yeast is getting hard to find. So we decided to go ahead and make some sourdough starter so we can continue to bake bread. So first of all we're going to need a cup of whole wheat flour and I'm just going to put it in this jar and then we're going to need two-thirds cup of warm water put a little bit more warm water. Okay, this is kind of like the consistency of peanut butter. Then I'm going to cover it with a coffee filter. I'm going to take a rubber band. So we're going to set this in a warm spot for 24 hours. And then we're going to come back and check it. Hi everybody, and this is day three of our sourdough starter. And I skipped yesterday because we came in and looked at it and it wasn't doing anything. It was still way down here. So I moved it and set it on top of a heat register or a different heat register and um, Joe called me at work and he was all excited. He's like the sourdough starter has doubled. So this is what it is. So now we're going to take out oh, I need a spoon. We're going to take out a half a cup All right. and then we're going to put one cup of all-purpose flour let's see just how much of a mess I can make here okay I'm going to add a half a cup of warm water to this. And then I'm going to mix it up. And this is going to be food for the sourdough. I need a little more water. I'm going to put just maybe a quarter of a cup more. Still has wet, I mean dry, powdery flour in there. So that was like an eighth of a, a cup of water. So three quarters of a cup of water for the sourdough. So then we're going to cover it back with the coffee filter. Take our rubber band. And then we're going to put it back on our heat register 
We'll check it again tomorrow. All right, y'all, I have been severely slacking on this sourdough starter. It was bubbling up like crazy, and now it's not doing anything. So, because I forgot about it yesterday. So, I'm going to feed this puppy. Take out a half a cup. Hopefully I didn't ruin it. I need to write a note somewhere and so it'll remind me because I'm horrible. My memory is so bad. Okay, and then we're going to put a cup in. Then we're going to do some warm water. I'm going to be so upset if I kill this stuff. We're on day five. Okay. All right. This back on. All right, back on the heat register we go. Hey everybody, and welcome back. Today is day six of the sourdough starter, and it's not bubbling as much as it was, but it is bubbling, so that's a good sign. So, I also did not mix it up yesterday before I took out. So, mix it up before you take out. Take out the half a cup. Then we're going to put in one cup. Put our pot back on. And I think since I forgot about it for the couple of days I did, that I'm going to go an extra couple of days with feeding it every day. So I think we'll do this until like Wednesday. So let's put it back on the heat register and uh, we'll check it again tomorrow. Okay, everyone. Well, I'm not really sure what day it is for the uh, sourdough. I'm going to be feeding it like Melissa did. She went to bed early. The, it was super windy today, crappy day, snow, rain, and uh, anyway, no internet. She went to bed early. For her, uh, having no internet is pretty much like me when I have to do dishes. Just not a good day. So let's take a look at what happened from uh, now to 24 hours ago when she fed it. Oh, looks really good. 
I mean, it, it, it doubles in size every single time, sometimes even more. So just like she did, we're going to take out a half of a cup. This stuff is almost ready to be used. Starting to get that sour smell. It's definitely time to move this to a bigger container pretty soon here. I'm going to add to this once again one cup of all-purpose flour. And to that I'm going to try to add about a half a cup of water. Alright, well this is all fed and ready for another day. If you guys are having any trouble with yours, um, doing it the way Melissa has done this, it's just not warm enough. If you, we had a real hard time in the beginning, put it on the heat register, boom, it just flourished. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so this is the last day, and it looks like this thing exploded. I hope it's still good because it's hard on the top. Jeez, um. Oh, I don't know. What the? Huh. All right, there we go. Wow. So I would say it's ready to go in its own crock. Okay, so I, I think I have everything ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to do two batches. So what I take out of this jar today, I'm going to put in this one. So I have two more coffee filters. mess. All right. Hopefully tomorrow we can start baking some bread. All right, everybody. This stuff is way to the top or close to the top. It was at the top on both of them. half a cup we put one cup in again and then we're going to do some baby bath warm water and then mix it up
And then I just take coffee filters, put them over the top. These rubber bands are the ones I get to go around the garbage bag of my garbage can. Alrighty, and there we have it. So that's it, y'all. You feed for seven days, and uh, if you try this, let me know how it works out for you. I didn't have any problems at all getting this started and getting it going and and for it to sour. As a matter of fact, I there were a couple of times I forgot to do it and it went two days without me feeding it. And it came right back, no problem. So after this we're going to put it in the fridge and we're going to go from there. But uh, Stay tuned for some um, sourdough recipes. This is going to be really fun. So, again, like, share, subscribe. And if you try this, please let me know how it turned out for you. And if you do something different, let me know. Like I said, I've never done this before. And, uh, well, Joe has done it. And I attempted to keep his alive for a little while, but that didn't go over too good. And um, just let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching.